Hi, welcome to my Make and Create event for March. It's Friday the 22nd of March 2024. Now if you hear some noise outside, <laughs> it's only just started and I was hoping, I was a few minutes late because I was hoping it would go away, but it's not going to go away. There are workmen outside doing things to the curb and gutter and they decided to come back from their lunch break and make a shebang <laughs> so there's nothing i can do about the noise outside today so i apologize for that let me just find you over on my facebook page and make sure i've gone live in the right place so let me just find you i will be two seconds okay it looks like I, yep looks like i'm in the right place yay <laughs> so welcome to my event today um, let me go back to OBS and I've got both open then and I can move that across. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm I'm in business. <laughs> so um today is the make and create event for our card and a cuppa Friday Facebook Live. Um if you spent seventy dollars or more in an order with me during the month of February, you would have got a little pack in the mail that looks a bit a little bit like this. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a faux centre step card using the A Little Latte Sweet Collection, which is an online exclusive. Um, if you didn't get a little pack in the mail, that's okay. You can also go to my blog and get the measurements for the faux centre step card on my off my blog. And I will also be putting all the products I used with for this card up on my blog after we've done it. So let's switch down to the craft desk and get started. Okay, let's have a look at the sweet collection first. I think the man banging outside has decided to stop. And I hope you've got your cuppa if you're not crafting along with me. I hope you've got your cuppa. I'm just finishing off a cup of green tea, which is pretty much cold by now. Yep, it's cold. <laughs> okay, so this is... This is the card we're going to make today, and it's a faux centre step card, like so. I used to make these a long time ago where you'd cut the base card and all that, and then I came across this pattern that made life a lot easier, and these are much better and much easier to make. So that's what we're going to be doing. So you should have all the in ingredients, <laughs> like a recipe, in that little bag here so let's have a look at the sweet first so this is the latte love sweet uh, bundle the stamp set and the dies and my dies keep moving around because they don't want to play nice so you can get the bundle at 10% off if you buy the stamp set and dies together um, you can do that and the bundle price is 81.75 if you want the whole suite, I believe, yes, look, I've written it down here for to help me. The whole suite, which includes the stamp set, the dies, this gorgeous ribbon. It's like um, a burlap ribbon and these coffee swirl dots that come in pecan pie, petal pink and white, which really look cream. And the designer series paper. The whole suite is $135. So this is what the dies look like when you cut them out, like the standalone dies that don't match up any of the stamps in the, the stamp set. So you've got your plunger coffee, or I think the Americans call this a French press. And then you've got, I call this like the percolator one, you know, it just sort of sits on that hot plate thing. <laughs> and you've got two little coffee cups with a little tiny die for for the, for the coffee on top of the mug um, you've got the coffee to go inside each of the coffee pots and you know the handle part and over here these are the stamps that match a die but there is a die that matches this stamp and I didn't realize it until after I made this up so the dies cut all these ones out plus this and then you've got the splatter the the steam the coffee rings and your, your sentiments 
So if you don't have this stamp set and you're you're crafting or making along with me today, you can adapt this this center step card to anything. Any any stamp set papers, you can adapt it to anything. So that's what the bundle looks like, the dies and the stamp set. Now I've really hacked into my paper because I've got a class and doing a class in April with it and I've got, got this so I've had to send these out in packets. You can see that's like the nice petal pink and pecan pie and early espresso. You've got your coffee art here on the back. You've got mugs. Now the dies don't cut these mugs out. These you have to fussy cut. So I have actually fussy cut your mug out for today from the paper. Um, you've got little coffee cups and little teeny tiny teaspoons on the back of this one. The die does cut these coffee mugs out if you want these. Um, oh, my other coffee cards from my class are downstairs. Now that was silly, wasn't it? But yeah, they cut, cut the die cuts. So this die that cuts that shape out cuts this one out. Um, on the back of this, you've got coffee rings from your cup on the bench. You've got little coffee beans. And the dies do cut out the coffee beans, although they are fairly fiddly. But I have got a couple cut out for you from the paper. Um, you've got like a... Oh, gone blank. <laughs> A plaid is that what it is a plaid design on the back of that you've got coffee splatters um, lost lagoon stripy paper early espresso and pecan pie swirls it's really nice paper calypso coral coffee beans so yeah it's it's really nice paper but mine as you can see has been cut into substantially so let's pop the paper away and let's bring in our card so as you can see, it stands up, it can stand up, and that's what it looks like side on. And basically I've just done all die cutting because when I send things out in the mail, I can't use stamped images. So I have to choose the set that I'm going to do these this make and create with carefully. So you will have got a little label a banner die if you don't have any sentiment that fits on this that's okay use something that you've got that will fit or use a different banner that's perfectly fine um, but everything else has been cut from the paper pack and the dies so and then i'll just cut one of those looking down on coffee mugs for the inside so let's get started i'm not going to go over all the measurements because they are on my blog and when you get the pdf tutorial the tutorial will have all your measurements in it so if you're crafting along with me you can get your bits and pieces out you will have a window sheet coffee pot uh, how can i make you see that <laughs> that's not very visible is it here we go. Does that make it better? So you'll have a little window sheet coffee plunger. So just keep that safe. Because <laughs> you can easily lose it. Because it's see-through. You will have your handle for your coffee plunger. You will have your little bit of coffee that will go inside your coffee plunger. Maybe I should keep all these together. These like so. Okay. Um, you'll have your die cut coffee mug. You will have two little coffee mugs, one in Calypso Coral, one in Petal Pink. You should have your little banner. You should have your one for the inside of your card, and that could be any colour from the paper. Um, you'll have your coffee beans. Now what else should you have? You should have your little um, bits to go on your mugs. I've got one, and look. This one fell out the other day, so I have two. <laughs> now, on the back of these, you've got sticky adhesive sheet. So how about we, before we lose these, how about <laughs> we take the sticky sheet off. Hi, Margaret, how are you? And we put these on our little coffee mugs. So I am just going to attach that now. Just because I'm, nope, that one's, 
I might need to cut myself another one. Oh, here it is, here it is. Get off, get off. The sticky had come off it, so it was stuck to the card base. So I'll put these on mine now. If you don't want to do that now, you don't have to. But yeah, now I know I'm not going to lose my little coffee and my coffee cups. <laughs> okay, so this is your base. And I've scored it in two places. So what the first one will be a mountain fold and the second one will be a valley fold and then this one will be a mountain fold and that creates your base. Very simple, simple, simple. So before we attach anything together, you're going to get your pieces of paper. So you should have a piece either with splatters or swooshes and that's going to go down there and as a, another piece splatters or swooshes that's going to go inside so we can attach those now I really love this sweet collection um, because I do love my coffee although people seem to think I'm a, I'm addicted to it I'm not I only ever have one coffee a day <laughs> and but yeah because I, I love it so much and I often take photos of my coffee, that my one coffee a day. People think I must be a real coffeeaholic, but I'm not. <laughs> so there, yeah, that goes onto that front little mountain fold, like so. And then this one is going to go behind, like so. So can you see the splatters are there? Well, this is just the swooshes. So I can't remember what I sent out to people, whether I sent splashes or swooshes. <laughs> but it all is the same colour coordination. So either looks really good. So that's just going to go onto your card base like this. And you could do extra layering and matting, but you don't have to. And, you know, unless it's a really super duper special card, why go to all that trouble? <laughs> Because you want to keep things simple, I think. Now let's get our bone folder and we will crease those folds nice, crisply. So that's pretty. Oh, we can put we can put our inside piece in if you like. We can. We can put our coffee cup in later. So this is where you would just write your sentiment to the person you're giving your card to and you just have a little border all the way around nothing too complicated okay we'll put we'll finish off the inside later so that's pretty much our card base done really simple okay and then that's the inside so we'll put that to one side now now we'll bring our, our center step part in now you can choose if you want the coffee art I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody got the, the pink swirlies the petal pink swirls swooshes you can choose your coffee art or your swoosh on my sample card I did swoosh <laughs> so I think I might do coffee art this time on the on the front panel so you can choose It's um, very overcast here today and a bit of rain, but Rosie and I got our walk in. We went over to Terrigal this morning and we got our walk in, and um, so that was good. And I did have a coffee over there. <laughs> I told you I'm a coffee fanatic. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so now you've got all your little bits and pieces that came in your little kit, and we're going to put put them. You can layer them on your front panel trying to work out where you might want to place them that's entirely up to you um, we might construct our coffee pot before we do the next step so as you can see this is coming together really quickly now the back of your coffee pot this was in rose gold foil um, has got adhesive on it as well now put my lid back on my glue that might be a good idea so what you can do 
is pull and I've got my little window sheet there you can pull your foil off but just pull it off if I can get it off there it is just pull it off this part and this part and these legs you can cut it when you're pulling it off you can cut it here and over here onto the handle you can cut it I mean if you pull it right off it's okay and you can just get your um, 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 embossing buddy to remove the sticky but if you don't want to have sticky everywhere you don't have to okay so this goes I'm going to have to bring in something that I can see this with maybe maybe a card base <laughs> no you can't see that I'm trying to work at how to you can see it maybe a piece of paper it's because we're using the window sheet I don't know if you can see that very well I think you can a bit better and we're just going to put this over our window sheet and because we've taken the adhesive off this part and the legs um, and this part it's going to stick to the window sheet which is what we want and I'm just trying to line it up evenly and make sure I don't put it down too low because you've got a little spout up here that you want to try and line it up with there we go that looks pretty good can you see can you see that it's very hard isn't it with the window sheet but you've got a little spout up here on your window sheet so you need to just be mindful of that and make sure you've sort of lined that up well I think I can get rid of my paper now now then you've got your little bit of coffee to go behind it now what I did was I put that behind the window sheet with glue dots carefully down here so that's the only problem when you're using um the window sheet you've got to hide your adhesive <laughs> but there are always ways to hide it okay now I want my coffee to come down a bit lower than this section here but not quite as low as the base of the coffee pot because quite often it has a rim like a, a thicker base and then just push that on and that's attached with the glue dots can you see that pretty cool it's really it's really cute it's a fun little set to play with okay so if you've taken the adhesive off all of this just get your embossing buddy and dab it round because that removes the sticky okay let's put our coffee plunger on first so I did that with um, dimensionals. I put one behind the coffee and one up on the handle and over the window sheet so that it stuck that together. And that's all you need. So let's take the backings off. Okay. And I'm going to place it on my front panel like so and that gives it a bit of a dimension and when the card is actually in person you can see that it looks like a glass plunger okay so then I put my big coffee cup there and my little coffee cups here but you can place them wherever you like if you prefer them somewhere else you can do that and we've got coffee beans I might put these coffee beans over here. The coffee beans get a little bit lost with the coffee art paper behind, but it's okay. Now, I put these two coffee mugs up on dimensionals as well, so we'll get our dimensionals back in. Here 
Um, look, I'm going to live life on the edge. I'm going to swap these ones around. <laughs> swap them around. Be different. Be brave. Be bold. Okay. Dimensionals. Okay. This one I just placed down with some blue or adhesive of your choice. As I said, it's a really fun suite to play with. I'm just going to put my cup here. I'm just doing all my cups and mugs at an angle. I think that looks okay. Now before we do the banner, I am going to attach this to our card base. Move those there. Oh, I didn't do my... Oh look, I'll do my little coffee beans in a minute. I'll put those to one side and do them in a minute. Okay, so when you fold your base up, your step, center step is going to go over the top like so, and it's going to line up at the back like so. Okay, so if you want to measure how far across it goes, it goes in about one and a half one two one two one two goes in about two inches ah centimeters sorry goodness gracious centimeters i'm going to fold it out so it goes across pretty just shy of two centimeters on either side okay so i am going to put adhesive oops and just drop my glue hang on a sec and I can see that I'm out of vision, so let me move that up and I'll show you that again. Okay, that's better, Denise. Okay, so if you've got a grid board, um, the glass mat or grid paper, it goes across about two centimetres. So I'm on the 14 here, so that's one and that's two. And on this side, I'm on 28, that's one and that's two just a little bit shy of two centimeters. I said centimeters this time, didn't I? Yes. So I am going to put my finger here and I'm just gonna put glue all the way across to the other two centimeters. If you don't use glue and you use tape, just do that too. And I'm just keeping it in line. This is the 16 centimeter mark. Or if you want to put a pencil dot, you could do a pencil dot if you prefer to measure. And I just like my grid paper for these occasions. Okay, that looks right, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to hold that down because I'm using glue. So if you, if you don't like eyeballing it with the grid paper, get a little ruler and put a pencil mark on either side if you want it spot on centered okay so that's attached to my front panel now we're going to flip it over and that just goes like that straight down can you see that just goes straight down so I am going to put glue or adhesive just inside of the center panel width And then just flop that over and down and hold that down. There we go. Just make sure it's attached nicely, firmly. <laughs> Don't want any. Oh, sorry about that. Back to the desk. <laughs> and we don't want any mishaps like so. <laughs> okay. Oops, we've got a little bit of glue spurtage going on up here. Okay, so we'll flip that over. And that's our card made, constructed. Can you see how we've got our faux center step? 
and we didn't have to do any cutting of the card base or popping of different ways the way we used to do them oh, goodness okay so now I'm going to come back and put my little coffee beans on I might grab my tweezers for this and stick that there and I think I'm going to put my little coffee beans down here so because my background paper with the coffee art is a little bit busy you sort of lose some of the um the little coffee beans and um the detail of of this one can you see the swirls the swooshes made it a little bit easier to see now then you've got i'll put my glue lid back on but then you've got your teeny tiny banner and as i said if you don't have a sentiment that fits on that then just make a banner a bit bigger for something that you've got but i am going to use this one's on me from the stamp set and move my phone across turn my phone on to silence so that was good <laughs> okay this is such a teeny tiny stamp and get early espresso down Thanks, Margaret. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Okay, so there's your little teeny tiny banner. And I better not do it upside down, although I could just turn it around. So, just going to hopefully not bring my head in. There we go. This one's on me. And I did put that up on dimensionals. Let me look. Yes, I did. So I'll use the teeny tiny dimensional to pop my little sentiment up. But, you know, if you wanted to put, position things differently and put a, a banner, quite a long banner across, you could do that too. Um, if it's all about, oh, there's that man banging outside again. I really wish he'd go away. <laughs> even though I'm happy they're fixing our curb and guttering um, you can you can do that so I'm just going to pop one here and then oh. so you have um, one of the coffee cups from the paper so open up your card um, put your adhesive on the back put it on whichever side you wish or you can put it on your envelope if you're wanting to decorate your envelope. There's Rosie, I know. He's making a racket, isn't he? <laughs> you don't need to chime in though, darling. Rosie. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> She's not happy with the workman outside. Okay, so I'm not using the ribbon on this card. I wouldn't actually say it's ribbon because you can't really tie a bow with this. Um it's like a burlap but yeah I've used it on other cards but I am going to use some of these dots so you would have had some little dots in your bag of tricks and this one I use the um the white coffee swirls I might put the darker ones on my card because I've flipped it over but any of the colors work and it doesn't really matter so I will just get they're really cute swirls because yeah, they've got that little coffee swirliness on them. <laughs> Is that even a word? I don't know. <laughs> um, I might put one here. But you could put them down here. But yeah. So I don't know if you can see. I don't think it's going to focus. But they've got little swirls on them. It's really cute. So there we go. So there is a faux centre step card using the Latte Love or a little Latte Sweet collection. And as you can see, different papers. It's got the splotches. This has got the swooshes. <laughs> oh, thanks, Felicity. <laughs> did you make the card as we did it? I always, I always worry Australia Post is going to let me down and the, and the things won't get to people. It is a great sweet. It's really pretty and fun and just just a fun suite. Um, so yeah, you can see 
that just the different papers can make it look a little bit different. I flipped my swoosh, pink swooshes over to the coffee art side. And yeah, it's it's really cool. I really like it. So let's go. So remember, if you're going to place an order with me in March, this is my host code, which is on my blog, stampingpassion.blogspot.com. Um, over on the right-hand side of my blog, you, you'll see a March host code button and also the stamping up logo you can it's... oh that's good I'm so glad <laughs> you have to send me a photo <laughs> um, if you want to place an order with me in March any any order over seventy dollars this month will you will be you will get a pack well I can't show you the pack because I've just made it um, you'll get a little card pack in the mail for the April make and create event so if you'd like to be part of that, you just have to place a $70 order with me through the online store. That would be great. Or send me the order via email or text message and I can do that for you. So thank you so much. Let's go back to face view now. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you... Hang on, I've got to get this light right. Where? I hope you enjoyed it. It's a great little fun fold card that's not hard to do. And that's why it's called the faux center step card because you don't do all the cutting that I normally did in years gone by for center step cards. I like this much better. I should show you some other ones. So you'll get the PDF tutorial for this card. And let me show you. We'll go back down to the craft desk, sorry. <laughs> so you'll get a PDF tutorial for this one. But you'll also get a PDF, PDF tutorial for, this was like, this is like landscape and this one's portrait and I've used the different coffee pot on this card but same same thing so both center step it's just that the center piece doesn't go right down to the bottom it goes half, like halfway well, not even that and you'll get the PDF tutorial to that this was one I made last year or the year before with celebration items so you can see I just made this panel wider than that you can see that it adapts to any kind of paper pack or stamp set this was another one I did years ago when we had oops look I've got bits and pieces here um, when we had this cottage rose collection um, that was like the portrait one smaller but I made it wider on the coffee one to fit my little bits and bobs on it so you'll get the PDF tutorial for this one, the landscape, and the portrait one. I'll be sending those out. After this, I'll get them all together and send them out to you. So, so I hope you enjoyed that. They're my little coffee <laughs> center step, faux center step cards. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you watching and placing orders with me. Keeps me active as a demonstrator. And after being home not quite a week from on stage in Melbourne last weekend I want to keep being a demonstrator because it's so much fun and so many nice things to be coming a lot they're coming out ah well Matt's 30 on Monday Felicity <laughs> that's right our kids are the same age so yeah Matt's 30 on Monday so I've already given him his card um, him and his girlfriend, his new girlfriend, are flying down to Melbourne this afternoon for the Grand Prix. So they're having his birthday weekend in Melbourne. So, yes, how did our kids get to 30? I can't work that one out. <laughs> but I'm glad it'll be, it'll be suitable for her 30th. That's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday for my Make It Monday. Bye for now.